Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have got a story that is leaving the global defense community in awe. The United States Air Force has just unveiled a game-changing technological marvel that has got everyone buzzing. This latest creation has sent shockwaves through the defense world and has left experts wondering if there is anything that can stop it. So without further ado, let's explore how the U.S. Air Force created a hypersonic missile so advanced that it defies interception. The highly anticipated AGM-183, an airborne rapid reaction system and cutting-edge hypersonic air-to-ground missile, has completed its first comprehensive test with extraordinary results. This thrilling test took place on December 9th under the watchful eye of the 412th Test Wing stationed at Edwards Air Force Base in Southern California. The goal was to evaluate the performance and capabilities of this groundbreaking hypersonic weapon. For the test, the AGM-183A was selected for an air launch demonstration to showcase its adaptability and compatibility with existing aircraft platforms. It was deployed from the iconic B-52H Stratofortress bomber that itself is a symbol of U.S. air power. As the AGM-183A tore through the atmosphere, it accelerated to mind-boggling speeds and surpassed the sound barrier by more than five times. With a velocity exceeding 3,800 miles per hour, this hypersonic missile demonstrated its extraordinary capability to traverse vast distances in an astonishingly short span of time. The flight plan was executed flawlessly, exhibiting the precision and accuracy engineered into its design. Every intricate maneuver, trajectory adjustment, and navigation parameter worked in perfect synchrony, showcasing remarkable advancements in hypersonic technology. The AGM-183A self-destructed upon completing its mission objectives, a crucial aspect of the test for safety and data collection. Now. Let's delve deeper into the significance of hypersonic weapons and their global impact. Hypersonic weapons, like the AGM-183A, can reach speeds exceeding Mach 5, five times the speed of sound. This remarkable speed sets them apart from traditional ballistic missiles, enabling them to evade and bypass current defense systems. The AGM-183A Arrow, a hypersonic air-to-ground missile, was designed to meet the United States military's needs and can strike targets swiftly and accurately. Its extraordinary speed and mobility pose a severe threat to conventional missile defense systems. The AGM-183A's ability to approach targets stealthily and launch surprise attacks provides a significant tactical advantage. Unlike traditional ballistic missiles with predictable trajectories, hypersonic weapons introduce an unprecedented level of uncertainty and unpredictability. Their agility allows them to constantly adjust their flight route and change directions during their mission to make it challenging for conventional defense systems to intercept them. The AGM-1 183A Arrow's speed and agility enable it to quickly evade countermeasures, posing a significant challenge to current missile defense systems. It can respond rapidly, hitting targets quickly and accurately while minimizing the risk of retaliation. This capability gives the U.S. military a decisive edge in engaging and neutralizing threats. From the United States to China, Russia to France, nations worldwide are heavily investing in the research and development of game-changing hypersonic weapons, marking a seismic shift in the strategic landscape of warfare. This development might sound like something out of a science fiction movie, but it's far from fiction. The United States, in particular, is demonstrating its unwavering commitment to advancing hypersonic technology, as evidenced by the successful test of the AGM-183 AAARRW. Hypersonic weapons have emerged as a top priority for several global powers, including the United States, Russia, and China. These cutting-edge armaments are engineered to achieve incredible speeds, surpassing Mach 5 and beyond. Today, we delve into the fascinating realm of the long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHS program, spearheaded by the renowned aerospace company Lockheed Martin. This program aims to significantly enhance long-range capabilities and is set to conduct a series of test launches by the end of 2023. Another noteworthy endeavor within the United States is the hypersonic air-breathing weapon concept, Hawk Project, led by the Pentagon's Office of Advanced Research Projects. This groundbreaking initiative, developed by Raytheon Technologies, 
promises to elevate the U.S. Air Force's hypersonic capabilities to unprecedented levels. Meanwhile, Russia has achieved a significant milestone with the Avangard strategic targeting munition. This remarkable weapon can launch hypersonic warheads from intercontinental ballistic missiles, posing a serious challenge to existing missile defense systems. Russia's development of the Zircon sea-based missile and the air-launched Kinzhal missile further solidifies its position as a leader in hypersonic technology. China, a global military powerhouse, has also been actively investing in hypersonic missile research and development. Their goal is clear, to bolster their military capabilities and maintain their status as a formidable force. The DF-17 gliding munition, with an estimated range of 1,000 to 1,500 miles, showcases China's impressive advancements in this field, underlining their commitment to strengthening national defense and regional power projection. These investments by major nations in hypersonic technology underscore its growing importance in contemporary military doctrines and strategies. The competition for hypersonic superiority among the United States, Russia, and China is intensifying. Recent successes, such as the AGM-183A AARRW test, highlight the progress being made in this field and the determination of these nations to remain at the forefront of hypersonic capabilities. The future of military conflict is undoubtedly being reshaped by these cutting-edge weapons systems, with far-reaching implications for global security. The hallmark of hypersonic weapons lies in their extraordinary speed, enabling them to traverse vast distances in mere moments, arriving at their targets with minimal warning. This groundbreaking technology carries profound implications both in offensive and defensive contexts, offering a wide range of potential applications. Offensively, hypersonic weapons empower military forces with expanded strike capabilities. They can swiftly eliminate time-sensitive targets such as enemy air defenses, missile systems, or critical infrastructure. Their rapidity and precision make them formidable tools for preemptive action. On the defensive front, hypersonic weapons serve as a realistic deterrent. The sheer difficulty of intercepting and defending against such high-speed threats discourages adversaries from engaging in hostile operations. This aspect of hypersonic technology can contribute to overall global stability by reducing the likelihood of conflicts. Nonetheless, the swift development and deployment of hypersonic weapons have sparked concerns regarding the resilience of strategic alliances and the potential for arms races. Because hypersonic missiles can effectively evade conventional defensive systems, Governments around the world are feeling the pressure to bolster their own hypersonic capabilities or devise countermeasures. This competition for superiority has the potential to escalate tensions, fuel misperceptions, and destabilize international relations. However, there are several challenges in their production too. One of the biggest challenges with hypersonic missiles is managing the extreme heat they generate during flight. These missiles fly super fast, over Mach 5, and that creates a lot of heat because of air compression. In fact, the heating can make their surface reach thousands of degrees Fahrenheit. To deal with this intense heat, engineers use advanced materials and special systems that can handle such scorching temperatures while keeping the missile's structure intact. It's a tough job, but engineers are up to the task. Also, because hypersonic weapons move so fast and in complex ways, their parts endure lots of mechanical stress. This stress is way more than what regular weapons face. To make sure these weapons are strong and reliable, engineers use top-notch methods and materials that have exceptional strength. Testing hypersonic systems is unique, too. You need special facilities like wind tunnels to mimic hypersonic airflow accurately. Computer models and simulations are vital for understanding the complex dynamics, heat, and structural forces these weapons experience during flight. Hypersonic weapons also need precise guidance and control systems, along with strong aerodynamics, to stay accurate and stable at high speeds and altitudes. It takes complex algorithms, sensors, and actuators to keep them on track. And it's not just about the technology. You also need a solid infrastructure for manufacturing and supply chains to develop and deploy hypersonic weapons smoothly. This applies whether you're talking about one missile or a whole bunch of them. Quality and performance are top priorities. 
Engineers and scientists are tirelessly addressing the technological challenges associated with hypersonic weapons, a development with profound implications for global military policy and security. Hypersonic weapons possess the capacity to disrupt traditional notions of defense and deterrence by swiftly and accurately striking high-value targets. Their rapidity and precision bolster a nation's military strength and serve as a formidable deterrent. These weapons offer advantages for both offense and defense. Offensively, their incredible speed and agility make them difficult to intercept, while their accuracy can breach heavily fortified targets. Defensively, hypersonic weapons can intercept incoming threats with greater accuracy and at extended ranges to enhance overall security. However, the proliferation of hypersonic technology raises concerns about escalation and arms races, potentially leading to rushed decisions and errors. To mitigate these threats, the international community should establish rules, agreements, and confidence-building measures to enhance transparency and avoid destabilizing arms races. The integration of hypersonic weapons into existing arms control frameworks is crucial for strategic stability. Comprehensive arms control agreements addressing development, deployment, and limitations can manage proliferation risks and promote global security. Hypersonic technology's impact extends beyond military strategy, requiring in-depth examination and international policy coordination regarding crisis stability, regional dynamics, and strategic alliances. A comprehensive strategy encompassing military readiness, diplomacy, and arms control measures is essential to balance the benefits and risks of hypersonic weapons. Adapting to these new challenges can enhance future stability and security. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and watch the next video as well. See you again.